So, after learning that this boss could actually be parried, I decided to pay him another little visit. Naked. Welcome back to Dark Souls, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration from earlier. The last episode, we kicked the shit out of a big shiny metal asshole. And now we appear to be covered in flames of some sort. Neat. One thing I did learn after messing around weapons during that little, uh preview I showed you earlier, or rather the video of me kicking the boss's ass, I found that you can actually dodge like in Bloodborne, as long as you don't have a shield in the opposite hand, using the L2 button. Very interesting, and I'm excited to see it utilised. However, this does make it awkward if you want to parry with your hand, as you have to remove your weapon to be able to do so. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, oh shit, I have not restored my Estus flasks! That's like fucking Dark Souls 101, Badger. What the fuck's wrong with you? But I can only imagine what awaits us ahead for Thug Hard Milk. Open says... I... Yeah. Sure showed that door who's boss. Oh, good. Ooh. I must say, shinies are where it is at. But first, I must disregard shield, acquire bow and arrow. Why, you ask? Well, because... Why not utilize everything we have to our adv advantage? Oh, he didn't fall, okay. What? Okay! You fought like a warrior, good sir. And so I shall give you the traditional burial of my people. Death by 300 foot drop. Um, preferably without me. Sir, respect my traditions. Thanks, fuck nuggets. And our prize is... Well, if I wanted a bone, I'd go to the red light district. I know, that joke was terrible. Send me a bill in the mail. You know, for emotional distress. Come 
got thee, squire! Gotcha! I gotta say, I actually really like the dodge move and the, uh, tactical advantage it opens up. Because you always got to a point with light rolling that you always rolled maybe a little bit too far. Which can have all sorts of negative effects on your health, such as, uh, falling to your death. Oh, that's a dog! Yeah, that sure was a dog, all right. A dog with no eyeballs and rotating paws. Must be one of them newfangled models. What were you guarding? An ember. Must be this game's version of humanity, I suppose. Well, all shall be revealed in due time, as we enter this sacred-looking building. Are you ready? Thug Hard Milk was born ready! I came out of the fucking womb with a prison shank! Oh, is this the game's filing shrine? I suppose only one way to find out, but first onward and upward. Actually, maybe I should go onward and downward? Uh, I'm gonna assume onward and downward. Hello, friends! I, Thug Hard Milk, am here to save the day! Don't panic! Oh, you must be the game's new waifu! Welcome to the bonfire, unkindled one. I am a firekeeper. I tend to. The waifu, got it! And tend to thee. Like a waifu. Got it. The lords have left their thrones and must be delivered to them. To this end, I am at thy side. Understood. Your name was Waifu, correct? Understood. Ashen one, to be unkindled is to be a vessel for souls. Sovereignless souls will become thy strength. I will show thee how. Ashen One, bring me souls plucked from their vessels. Uh, I'll one. think about it. May the flames guide thee. How about we get to know the local culture? Are you the game's crestfallen knight? Tell me something depressing. Oh, another one roused from the sleep of death. Well, you're not alone. We unkindled are worthless. Can't even die right. <laughs> Gives me conniptions. And it have us seek the lords of Cinder and return them to their molding thrones. But we're talking true legends with the metal to link the fire. We're not fit to lick their boots. Says you! Wow. Even the emote you give is fucking depressing. <laughs> Do you allow me to join a covenant or some such? Asking us. Talking is it the covenant of sick jokes? No? Okay. To be fair, I would have been all up in that business. You tell me I could join the covenant of sick jokes? Would be there in an instant. Move over, sun bros. Ah. Great chest ahead. Oh, let me get a good zoom in on that. Sir, sir, uh, ah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I suppose that's why you never find shirtless blacksmiths. Kinda does a number on your chest. Well, a newcomer, I see. I am Andre. I serve at this shrine. As a humble smith, forging weapons. You're in search of the Lords of Sindhu, I trust. I, I guess. Journey, I 
creature. You require good arms. I got two of them right here. Your weapons. I am a smith. Such is my purpose. I don't see why not. I don't, oh, another difference from Dark Souls 2 is that it's not the Firekeeper. Well, not the one, rather than... I can't remember if it's a Firekeeper in Dark Souls 2. Man, I'm a fucking scrub. But um, it's now the Blacksmith that reinforces the Estus Flask. How interesting. Oh yes, I'm sure it's very interesting to you, the viewer. But what does it take? It takes more Titanite Shards than I'm willing to give at this moment in time. I don't want to see Ah, shut up. What else is on offer? It's such a strange location. There are thrones, and only one is sat upon. They look a bit lonely. Let's go give them company. A strange, burning, burly man. To give you comfort in these trying times. Oh, it's very rude that I have my face covered. Ah, yes. There we go. Hello. Are you the uh, the king of midgets by any chance? And a seeker of lords. I am Ludleth of Corland. Look not in bewilderment as I say. I linked the fire long ago, becoming the Lord of Cinder. If substantiation be thy want, set thine eyes upon my charred corpse. This sad cadaver. No need to be coy. Have a closer look. I am not here for that, sir. Of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of the first linking of the fire. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. And I became a lord of- God, this is boring! Your voice acting is phenomenal, but- Do not be away over Goodbye! I mean, honestly, I love the voice acting in this game. I love the plot. I love everything about this game, but- Truly, do I not have the time for your riddles and shenanigans? Not when I have an audience at home. Scouring over my every move so that they can deem that my choices were furiously inoptimal. So they may watch and gaze to shout the holy words of You scrub! You think... Daggers are good! Actually, daggers are generally pretty good, but you scrub anyway! Ashen produced the coiled sword at the bonfire. To Lothric. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Touch what? Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. This is getting weird. Averts. Fairly expensive to level up, all things considered. I'll chuck a couple points into dexterity. A little bit more into vigor, for the time being. Safe choices. Farewell, Ashen One. I don't know where I stuck my hand, but I liked it. Oh. This is what this is for. Well, fortunately I had this part spoiled for me. I was made aware that I am actually, uh, there is nowhere else to go in this building. So... Burn undead bone shard, whatever that is. But apparently I can tra travel to the high wall of Lothric. Well, away I go! Into the darkness. I arise in a strange... I don't know what this is, to be fair. I kind of slept through medieval 
torture rooms class. I'm assuming it's a torture room. All rooms are torture rooms when it comes to Dark Souls. There is another coiled sword here, but not for us to use. A strange drainage pipe. Must be the waterboarding room. Why are every door fucking cut? Like 90 pounds. Fuck. Holy shit, Nuggets! This place is beautiful! Finally, the place where I call home. Where death and adventure await. Where the strong survive and the death die. The dead die, yes. For I, the bald knight, shall take on anything this world has to offer. But that shall be another time for another episode. As I storm the keep or something else. I don't know what I'm going to find. We shall see. Until next time, Badger Battalion.